person would you say you are? When I was a kid, I was mostly extroverted because I used to love being around people. But uh, as I grew older, probably since I was a teenager, I decided that I needed more time to myself and that I didn't need company all the time. Uh, how would you describe your body to somebody else? For many years now, I think I've struggled with being truly happy with how I look, you know, because it's always either, oh, I'm too fat or my hair isn't long enough or I have acne and I have bad skin. So I do feel very insecure about that. Right now, since the last one year or so, um, the uh, the focus of my life has come more towards my creative pursuits, if that makes sense. That I've always been into art, you know, like I've always liked to draw and sketch right since I was a child. But in the last, say, four or five years, the focus had shifted from that more onto academics. And I felt that part of my life, creativity was very neglected. Makeup is a huge passion of mine. So I try to practice it as much as I can, learn more about it. And I've been developing my skills when it comes to it. I hate to say this, but it matters so much because, you know, I've realized that appearance actually has so little to do with what you are as a person. I mean, I have met people of all shapes and sizes, people who are super, super underweight, some people who are really fat, some people who have a lot of skin issues. But I, ha I myself have never judged them based on that because I like to see the kind of person they are. So I need to keep reminding myself that other people probably don't care how I look, you know. The thing is that I had a lot of acne as a teenager, like a lot of acne. And I, I got teased because of that and things like that, you know. So I suddenly became really conscious about my appearance, which had never been the case before. It's because of a medical condition. I have a polycystic ovarian disorder, which causes hormonal imbalances and acne is a side effect of that. But I didn't get diagnosed with that until I was about 15 and I already had a lot of acne since I was 11. So, you know, Indian relatives are the kind of people who take it upon themselves to comment on everything that they see and they have to give you a remedy and everything. So I was told by a lot of my relatives, oh, you know, oh my goodness, you have so much acne. It's such a pity. Your face is so pretty otherwise. And I was just made to feel like it's my fault that I have it. Yeah. The reason I really like this photograph is it was taken about a year and a half back and uh, I think it was one of probably the brightest times of my life recently, you know, because I was pretty confident with how I, I was uh, feeling as a person. Physically, I was as happy with my body as I've ever been before and I do have depression problems as, as well, which at this point I didn't have depression at all. So I sometimes I see this picture and, you know, I wish that Man, I, I wish I could go back to being the person I was in this picture, you know what I mean? Does it matter to you how attractive or unattractive you are in this picture? I had incidentally not had time to wash my hair, so it was a little greasy. I didn't have much makeup on. And somehow, I, I was so sure that my picture would come out terrible. So it really gave me um, a little boost of confidence that I don't look as bad as I sometimes think I do. So yes, I do feel attractive in this picture and that's pretty important to me. You have to go back and give advice like your 15 years old. What advice would you I think 15 is an age where most girls tend to feel extremely conscious about their body. In high school, people can be very spiteful to each other, you know. So if say if a girl has an issue with another girl, the first thing she'll do is point out, oh my god, you are so fat or you are so ugly. And that's just absolutely horrible. And you know, they think they're saying it just to just to hurt that person in that moment but they don't realize that it has an effect later down the line as well. I think we need to put more emphasis on teaching kids that making mean comments about each other, it's not okay. When do you most feel like yourself? I feel like myself when I'm all dressed up to go out, you know, because like I said, I really love makeup. And I, when I get to exercise all that creativity on my face and put together a really nice outfit, and express my style. I feel really confident and great and I feel like the best version of myself in that moment, you know. So, Nelika and her body right now, how would you express that relationship? Uh, it's a work in progress, that's the best thing I can say because uh, while I have, I'm, I'm happy right now with my body in the sense that I don't hate it, but I definitely have a long way to go, you know. And um, I've decided not, never to have a child biologically okay I mean it, I at first I was wondering where this came into my head 
but then I realized that having a child, it's something which really alters your body, right? I mean, women have said that uh, my skin is loose forever after that, I have stretch marks and I never lost that last bit of baby weight. So while women in general are very strong, they can deal with that kind of thing. But I feel that my whole relationship with my physical appearance is a little fragile. So I don't think I could take that. So I think because I love myself, I have decided, I have made that decision not to put myself through that in the future. This is a photograph of me.